We are here ready to make a deal from offer up. This is just something I'm buying for the house. Uh, it's actually the next few things I'm buying. They're just wooden shelves, display shelves, things to be able to hang up around the house and basically put all my crap on. So right now we are just waiting to see, are they even gonna show up? Sometimes I get a little sketched out with these deals, but there's so many people around. It's noon, lunchtime, probably she's coming from work and she just throws stuff in the back of her car. Her offer up page is huge. She probably has 140 items or so just on offer up. So she basically has a store. One of the things that is pretty interesting with her, if you go into the offer up free section, you'll see a lot of her items listed there but it's free with purchase and that's the catch. I think it's great marketing because then it makes you go into you know, her personal store, whatever she's selling, and you start looking for things because maybe there's that one item that you want for free. You'll spend five bucks, 10 bucks, whatever it is on another item just to get a second item free. So you guys can take that little note to the bank and see if it works for you right now. I'm just waiting to make a deal. So far, as a buyer, this is frustrating. If you're gonna sell something, be on time or at least send a message. That was a loud truck. <laughs> I don't care if it's a $2 item or a $100 item. If you're selling it, be on time or communicate. I get things happen but it's been 15 minutes and I haven't heard from the seller since I sent a message saying, hey, I'm here, right where you told me to be. So a little bit frustrating. Remember, the world is built on consumer reviews these days, people. Holy mackerel. Come on, man. Still nothing. Not cool. So 24 minutes ago, I said I was here. Notice that the seller would be here at noon today. Well, it's today, and I said, sounds good, and now she wants to meet me at 1. I'm not sitting around for 40 minutes for this. Unprofessional. I'm not sticking around. I'm bouncing. As frustrating as it is, I may give somewhat of a chance for her to redeem herself. I've got to run another errand down the road about a mile. We're going to the Home Depot. Gotta get some more things for the house. And if she wants to drive down there to meet me, cool. If not, I'm not sticking around for 40 minutes just to get this done. So we'll see what she says. It's two hours later and this deal went south. That's my first experience really as a buyer on OfferUp. Maybe second, I did buy a saw. That went great. Check this part of the story out. Sorry I didn't hear back from you. I can meet you at one. That's what she told me. And I quickly responded that same day that said, sounds good. Now she said, I have to go home. If you want me to get it, I can. I said, hey, I'll be at the Home Depot just down the road. It's less than, it's maybe a mile, okay? She responds, that's out of my way though. Out of your way for a mile? I came clear across town to meet you at the time you said you would be here. And then you're not? What's a bummer is I don't know that I can officially leave her feedback for a deal that I can't even follow up on, you know? There's nothing, I don't know if it's worth flagging this product, if that's gonna help. Just so you guys know, if you do hit the flag button on that user, it'll give you a list of reasons that you're flagging them It'll go into a second menu and say, well, why did you do it? You can choose from there. And then it'll give you the option if you want to block that person so that you don't have to go through, you know, seeing their items. You don't have to worry about trying to make deals with them. And in my instance, you know, I just reported that the person's unreliable and they just didn't show up to the deal. Offer up. You're coming through in the clutch. I appreciate it. And we will block this user. Eye of the Beholder, peace. It's not the end of the world. It was a $2 shelf. 
But if you're going to post stuff and you say you're going to be somewhere, please, people, do it. All right, let's go to the next offer, see what happens. We are at offer up deal number two. Trying to get some more shelving for the house. It looks like it's custom made, but it looks like they're a do-it-yourself kind of page on offer up. They've got a little logo and everything. Uh, but they have a trailer, so they may do some woodworking and stuff on the side, a little bit of repurpose work. It's made out of old barn wood. Offer up deal number two, a success. I like it. She was super nice. She does do the repurposing, restains it. It's quality, there's hangers on the shelves. Here's a quick view of one of them. The other is down there. We'll check them out a little bit more in detail when I actually get home, not in the car. But this one, transaction, awesome. That's a five star feedback. Boom, boom. Goes the dark light. Three, two, one. Those are my shelves that I bought on offer up as a buyer. That deal. Thumbs up, five stars for that user. Everything went great. But don't forget about Craigslist. I got these 1950 cherry red bar stools off of there for a great price. So you can find deals anywhere. These are just a couple options. Again, let me know what you guys think and if you've scored any awesome deals yourself. Until next time, guys, keep swinging for the ring. We'll see you guys later.